In a previous video review of this Elike 3266TD clamp meter, I claimed that the amp clamp functionality on the test unit I was sent to review uh, was not working. Turns out I made a mistake and I'll show you what the mistake was and how you can avoid it when you're making uh, current measurements using an amp clamp. This is an electric kettle. It's a thousand watt unit at 120 volts, so it draws nine or 10 amps worth of current under load, and it works great. It does in fact boil water. Uh, so in the previous video, I showed that if you take this amp clamp and you set it to amp clamp measurement mode, and this kettle is turned on, if you take this measurement around the power cord, you get nothing. So I said it wasn't working. Uh, turns out it's working just fine. So this power cord has two conductors in it. It has supply and return, uh, and their magnitudes are the same, but the signs are opposite. So the net current that's actually flowing through here right now is exactly what it says, zero amps. So if you're measuring uh, something like this where you have two conductors that are flowing in opposite directions at the same mag magnitude, it's not gonna work. So over here, I have taken the very much not recommended, do not try this at home approach and stripped the insulation off of a 120 volt power cord. So here you can see the ground, uh, the supply and the return are all now exposed. This is powering this lovely ancient LCD monitor. Uh, and so now you see if I put this in amp clamp mode, this is currently in standby. Um, but if I clamp around su the supply or return lines, I get a, eh, there's something going on there. Let's uh, wake the monitor up. And you'll see it's drawing around 140 milliamps, which is what this monitor should be drawing. Uh, so if you clamp around the supply, or around the return, you get the same value, which makes sense. If you clamp around the ground, uh, as long as your equipment is operating correctly, this should be there should be no current fl uh, flowing here, unless there's a fault of some sort. So that's a good thing. And again, if you were to clamp around both, same amplitudes, opposite signs, you see nothing. So. If you're measuring with an amp clamp, don't make that mistake. Um, I'm sure there's a better way to do this. I'm sure you can buy some sort of an extension cord that splits apart these conductors without having to cut up a power cord yourself. Uh, if I can find something like that, I'll post a link to it in the video description. So sorry about that, Elike. Uh, turns out that your amp clamp works just fine. 